Hey guys, I know I have a bad mic, that's why I don't record my voice that often, but this is how to never die in Monster Hunter World again. Trust me, got a lot of information, it's a 30 minute video, but uh, you'll definitely want to pay attention to some of these points. Thanks. So I've got the best defensive or tank builds. I've got every single stat you have to worry about explained. I have the complete guide to get a thousand or higher defense. And I promise you can never die again if you follow these steps, so stay tuned. The guide is long, but trust me, everything's important. So I'm going over what armor and weapons you need, what you need to upgrade and augment. Uh, I'm going over decorations and charms and what stat priority you need. Uh, I'm going over equipment choices, consumables, eating and food. Uh, I'm going over Palico equipment. And then I'm going to do a numbers test and then a field test so you know I'm not lying. Yeah, that part is really fun. So first things first, you have to choose your armor. I'm going to go over each armor and why it's not really good for defense. So I'm starting on Dragon King Eye Patch. And this is one I use in my main build. This is what you need. It's got 70 defense, which is really high. And it has no weakness. Also, weakness exploit is probably the most OP thing in this game right now. It's for offense, but you can use it on this build. So starting off with Xeno Jiva. Xeno Jiva is terrible. You're going to be fighting a lot of dragons and they shoot fire a lot of the time so fire and dragon resistance is needed. This is not the answer to almost any of your defensive needs. So next we have Kieran. Kieran is weak against fire and a lot of stuff shoots fire. It's weak against a lot of stuff. It's only good against Dragon and Thunder. And if you want to fight a Kieran, maybe. But overall, this is not what you need. The stats are all out of whack. And you probably want to stay away from Kieran. So now we're on Valhazak. It's probably got some of the worst defenses. So you probably want to stay away from this one. This is not the armor you need to survive. You will get burned alive and you'll get killed by dragons. So I skipped to Yostra and I'm going to Nair Gigante. Nair Gigante is bad against Dragon, bad against Kieran Thunder. Uh, maybe One Piece might be good for something, but you want to stay away from this one too. It does have self-healing, but it's not worth the terrible resistances. So now we're on Teostra. Teostra is my recommendation. It has a lot of fire resistance. A lot of things shoot fire in this game. Uh, it has good dragon resistance and it has good thunder resistance for Kieran. It's definitely the best resistant armor when it comes to elder dragon armor. It has high defense. It's what we need. Also we can build a nice offensive build from this with the defensive build. A nice affinity build if you wear an eye patch. So now I'm looking up the tree. The only good armor is probably Damascus. It's got defense boost and it has good resistances. If you want to interchange a piece, you're probably looking at Damascus. Other than that, the only other defensive one is Aragon. Aragon has a good defensive set build, but the defense is low. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go with Elder Dragon armor. I'm going to go with Teostra. I'm going to get a Dragon King eye patch and full Teostra. It's got the resistances, it has the gem slots we need, the decoration slots, and it's all around going to get you through this whole game unless you're fighting ice or water, which is pretty much nothing. So now we're going to pick a weapon. Hands down the best weapons to survive is Lance and Gun Lance. They have the biggest shields, they'll keep you alive. You'll survive anything with a Lance or Gun Lance. If you want to use a different weapon with a shield, it's not as good and ones with no shields you might die so you probably want to learn and make a lance or gun lance I recommend the electric one because electric can kill Nair Gigante, Kushala, a lot of electric stuff basil guys, a lot of things so invest in that gun lance or lance and you will probably never die so now we're going to upgrade our armor we chose Teostra and I've already got mine upgraded but as you can see here just go to upgrade uh, equipment, go to your armor you want to upgrade and make the defense higher. That's just one step. The uh, next step is augmenting. 
you can unlock this by unlocking stream stones as you play through the game you get them as rewards but once you do you can remove the cap from upgrading your equipment oh uh, now we can upgrade it a lot more what I did I upgraded all my Teostra armor to its max upgrade As you can see here just you can upgrade a lot more now it costs a lot more stones but it's worth it all this might cost you like a million zenny but it's gonna be worth it so once you augment your armor you can augment your weapons uh, it's pretty much the same thing but with weapons you can choose a special stat to increase you will get the special stream stones from killing tempered elder dragons that's the only way you can augment your weapons but uh, once you do you can get attack affinity defense uh, you can get a slot upgrade or you can get health regen health regen is really good a slot upgrade will help you out and also defense will help you out at this point in time it doesn't really matter I'd probably go with health regen so I could just heal I'd probably go with a slot I honestly think a slot is the most valuable upgrade because you can just keep uh, changing your decoration to fit the situation defense is probably the worst one so that's how you augment your weapons so now we're going to talk about decorations and stat priority so you can see here I'm going to just put a list out the most important stat is definitely vitality that's how you don't get one shot at its vitality only with the gems and I think a hunter horn can you increase your maximum HP over 150 everybody's gotten their HP to 150 but with the vitality gems you definitely need them you can get it to 200 it's definitely worth it it's the most important stat uh, the next most important stat I have a fair wind charm that gives me divine protection and uh, I also have one protection jewel so divine protection it'll uh, randomly reduce damage taken by a hit and 15% isn't that much but 30% is very noticeable I don't have any more decorations so I have to stay at 30% but best believe this is the second most important stat and I'll be getting three as soon as I can so the third most important stat is resistance to whatever you're fighting so you can see I have dragon charms on now but you can just interchange them to whatever you need say you're fighting a fire monster like Teostra or a Rathalos or an Ajinanth uh, you can just change the fire if you're fighting a Kirin you can just change to thunder resistance and if you get three of any resistance you get plus ten defense so as long as you can get your vitality definitely need three vitality gems you definitely need at least two divine protection gems and you definitely want three uh, resistance gems as long as you can do that these are the three most important stats that you need to survive with these you will never die as you can see I'm just switching them out this is what you have to do before every fight is fix your resistance so now I'm going to charms. Charms should be whatever you need uh, to round out your build. Starting with vitality, uh, then maybe divine protection, and then resistance. If you're missing out on any of those, you try to make a charm for it. Uh, there's not a lot of defensive stats. All these stats are not defensive. Uh, you want to just go to vitality, divine protection, and resistance. Whatever you're missing out in that order, that's the charm you need. There's guard and there's defense down gems, but you're not your guard's not going to fail, so you don't have to worry about those gems. So now I'm going to equipment and mantles. Honestly, this is one of the most important parts of surviving and never dying. Uh, the best mantle is probably Vitality Mantle. It will shield pretty much more than your entire health bar. So you can pop it on instantly and it'll save you. If a monster's coming at you, just pop a Vitality Mantle and you will live. You can just troll because you won't die. 
So the next mantle, I'd probably go Rocksteady. Rocksteady will protect you from uh, roars, tremors, wind. Uh, it'll protect you from pretty much anything. And it will it'll be pretty much your go-to for your secondary mantle next to uh, Vitality. Trust me, it's really good. But uh, the next one is your resistance mantle. If you're fighting a Kieran, take Thunderproof. If you're fighting a Teostra, take Fire. And it'll keep you alive. The uh, other mantles, they're not too important. But these mantles that I mentioned, they're what you need to survive. So now I'm going to go over items and consumables. The first items you always need are Power Charm, Power Talon, Armor Charm, and Armor Talon. You get these by buying power charms and armor charms from the vendor uh, in the trade yard. And then you use a basil guy's uh, talon to combine it into a power talon or armor talon. And then you can buy another armor charm and power charm and you can just have both. Roughly you get a 7% gain overall. So now we're talking consumables. Mega armor skin. That'll stay on you as long as you're alive. Uh, it won't go away. The next thing is Adamant Pills. It'll give you a temporary boost to defense. And that's really good. And the only other thing you can use to increase your defense is Hard Shell Powder. It also stacks with the pill. And if you have all of them up at once, your defense is going to be really high. Uh, you can maybe take an Immunizer. It'll make your red bar fill up faster and you'll recover faster and I guess you can take some max potion ancient potions but that's pretty much all you can do in the, the realm of consumables to stay alive so now we're talking food I've got the Toby Kadashi gun lance I've got the Teostra armor with the eye patch everything's maxed out and I've got 467 defense it's pretty high 467 is really high but now we're going to try a food buff. Also you can see I have 150 health and I've got 100 stamina. Uh, with the vitality gems it's already at 150. And after I eat you'll see that I have 200. I've got health boost, divine blessing, and resistance. Everything else is kind of for offense, latent power, and a weakness exploit. But uh, we're going to try some food. Uh, you either get fish or vegetables. Uh, say if you're fighting a Kieran, take uh, vegetables. If you're fighting a melee guy like uh, Nergigante, you take fish. Uh, we're going to go with fish because defense is what we're trying to get up here. And if you ever see perks on the bottom, Defender is one of the best ones. Defender, Riser, they will keep you alive. So after I eat we're going to see two things. One I have 180 health and I'd have 200 if I had a max potion and I have 182 defense. Now we're going to play some number games. Uh, the mega demon drug that's going to stay on so I'm going to pop it. I went from 482 to 507. So now we're going to cycle through our inventory and see what else we have. We have the hard shell powder and adamant pills. So we're going to find the adamant pill and we're going to see how much that increases our health by. Uh, it looks like 656. Now we're going to pop our hard shell powder and see if we can get it even higher. Alright. That's 676. So that's not as high as it goes. I'm going to talk about Palico equipment real quick. Uh, there's a shield spire. I have a guide for that. That'll make your Palico taunt the monster. And that'll keep you alive. But there's also the Choral Orchestra. And that'll play all sorts of buffs. Divine Blessing. Uh, all sorts of protection buffs. Defense attack. All that. That'll keep you alive. So as long as we're talking about Hunter Horns. I'm going to get mine. And I'm going to do a final test with defense up large and defense up extra large. 
and I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the final number that we can get to by ourselves. So as I play this final test, I'm going to go over what we did to get here. Uh, first we went over choosing your weapons and armor. We chose Teostra and we chose Gunlance. Then we went to upgrading and augmenting. We got the most defense we could. Then I went to decorations and charms. I uh, stress uh, vitality, divine protection, and resistance. The other couple stats that are defensive, they're not really important or necessary. Then I talked about equipment choices. I talked about mantles. I, w I said Vitality and Rocksteady were the two best, along with whatever resistance you need for whatever monster you're fighting. That should replace the Rocksteady mantle. I talked about consumables and eating food. I got Defense or Elemental Resistance. And I talked about Palico equipment. I talked about uh, Shield Spire, even a Vigor Wasp Spray. It'll keep you alive, but Coral Orchestra, that'll give you a lot of buffs that you need. That I don't have right now, but they would buff me even more. So here's the final test. I got Mega Armor Skin. I'm going to do Adamant Pill. And I'm going to do Hard Shell Powder to see our final number with our Hunter Horn buffs. And we got lucky number 777. So if I did everything right, I could easily hit 800 if I got some defensive weapon or put more augments on my weapons. But pretty much we're at 800 now. Uh, with everything working, I'm pretty sure you can get to 1000. This is how you get to 1000, following these steps. Just a little more fine tuning and you're there. But the video is definitely not over. Please stay tuned and I'm going to test out this build in the game. So first test is a Kieran test. Uh, everybody hates the Kieran. He keeps one-shotting people. But if you take uh, elemental resistance platter and you put resistance gems, thunder resistance gems in with vitality and divine protection, you will not die. You will not die. Also with the gun lance, you can just block the thunderbolts. So that's a tip too for a melee weapon if you're worried about dying. So I start out attacking here and I'm trying to die. This move one shots people. How much did it do? Pretty much nothing. And now I will try my hardest to die. I pop my max potion and I'm just trying to die. <sighs> I've been trying to whittle my health bar down, but I can't. Even if you get comboed, you're just not going to die. There's nothing you can do to die on this boss. I could go AFK for like 30 minutes, and I'd still be alive. Too easy. In fact, it's actually kind of boring. I've actually become bored of this game because I can't die. There's just no tension and I don't have to move. In fact, I'm looking to die. That's the fun part. Not trying not to die, but trying to die. That's the only fun I have in this game anymore. <sighs> you can watch as I will my health bar down, but I'm actually gonna do some way harder tests coming up. So I'm just waiting to die. I'm going to speed up my other tests, but uh, yeah, you pretty much can't die unless you want to. That's the moral of this story. Like even if you're just sitting here, a random Vigor Wasp will buy you just 10 more minutes. See look, that's 10 more minutes of life. You're not dying. So. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to go on to the next test. So that wasn't a tempered Kieran, but this is the tempered Kieran test. The Kieran that one shots everybody. So I found the Kieran and the only thing left to do is see how much its strongest move does. That move is the move on the ground where the whole lane lines up so I'm waiting for that to happen 
So here it is, the move that one shots everybody. And it does almost nothing. It wasn't even divine protection. It just does nothing. So now I'm gonna go on to the next test because as you can imagine, it's gonna take me like 10 hits to die. So we gotta move it along. Yeah, definitely 10 hits. So the next thing I'm testing is Tempered Valhazak. The beam one shots everybody. But what will it do to me? Let's find out. So I'm just waiting for the beam, full health. Let's see what it does. Will I get one shotted? No. What's that? Like 20 20 percent? Even take two maybe? Wasn't even divine protection. So let's see about melee attacks. Let's see how many I can take. Uh one, two, three. Yeah, that's a beam, three hits, it'll take me about six hits to die. I'm pretty sure I'm unkillable, especially because this guy is so slow. Yeah. So I'm going to do one more test, and that is the smoke bomb that he drops that likes to one-shot people. And it does less than 20%. So yeah, I definitely can't die. I'll just pop a vitality mantle and I'll just troll all day long some more. <laughs> On to the next test. This one's gonna be harder, trust me. So this is a tempered Teostra. I'ma see if I can tank the supernova explosion. I'ma see how much it does. First, I need to fight him for like two minutes until he does it. So I hope I get hit. So I have no mantles up and I'm just going to take a hit as soon as I can. Come on, come on, come on. Tempered Teostra. No mantle. Basically does nothing. It's legit going to take me 10 hits to die from a Tempered Teostra. So let's see about another strong move, his fire breath. In the meantime, can I die from it? No, not at all, not even close. So here's the final test, I healed up. Here's a tempered Teostra Supernova. And it does nothing. I think I can tank five. Think about it, five tempered Teostra Supernovas. That is how strong this build is. So I did a lot of elemental test but I'm gonna do a melee test now so I'm gonna see how I do against a tempered Nair Gigante uh, first hit not too bad he hits really hard he hits really hard let's see what else I can take so I'm just trolling around while my team dies I've been I've been trolling behind the scenes before this but that's another hit I can probably take like 10 of those. Yeah, legit 10. I can just troll all I want. But here's a final test. This is the leap, leap smash that the Nair Gigante does. I'm gonna see how much damage it does to me. I think it's his best move. I get hit by it. Yeah, I get hit. So that's with no mantle, I can survive two leaps from Nair Gigante. Most people get one shot by one, but I'll still be alive with two. It wasn't even divine protection, so I'll definitely survive two. See, honestly, I was just trolling this whole time, but honestly, all of your tempered Elder Dragon attempts will end just like this one. Just troll the whole way through, and you'll win. As long as your team doesn't die. See, I can just troll all I want. I don't even have to get Nair Gigante's parts. I already won this whole game. So there's one final test that's even better than any Elder Dragon that will convince you that this build is the best. 
and that is the great Jagras, low level. He was our first, and he will be our last. See how disgusting he is as he eats that helpless dinosaur. He is ready for a fight to the death. Let's see how it goes. So the test is, will we take damage? Here he comes, this is the test. And the answer is no, we don't even take damage unless we take one from his ultimate move. So that was the final test. By now you can tell that this is the best build that there ever was and you will never die with it. So I actually went AFK on this fight for 30 minutes and came back and was still alive and then I beat him. That's how OP this build is. So that is the video. I hope you learned something and I hope you're entertained. I am a new YouTuber. I started this channel as soon as this game came out. This game is definitely the best game that there ever was. I made more than a hundred videos just on this game in less than a month. So if you want to check out my other videos, there's a lot of content there. Also, if you could like, comment, subscribe, that'd be really good too. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, that's my goal. Also you can share this video if you think somebody else will learn something from it and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.